Welcome to the Feasibilian Project. We exist to help you learn critical thinking skills and recognize logical fallacies, myths, superstitions, cognitive dissonance, biases, and distortions. The Feasibilian is one who is capable of making critical decisions without relying on unfounded belief or blind faith. We encourage you to follow evidence that is logical, reasonable, and likely to have a feasible explanation. We are all connected in the natural world in one way or another. Think for yourself. Embrace reality. Be a Feasibilian. We are the Feasibilian Project, hosted by Nicholas James. We're going to try something a little bit different this time. On social media, I notice a lot of posts out there, and I especially pay attention to the ones that are religious. And I'm going to call out a few of them now and try to pick them apart. So from the standpoint of an atheist, what do these religious posts mean? And I'm going to try to point out logical fallacies and inconsistencies with these posts. You know, they could be from Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, YouTube, could be any one of those and see if I can make sense of them. This meme that I saw says, Catholics are born for combat. I am a soldier of Christ, the king under the command of Archangel Michael, protected by the queen of heaven. The scapular is my dog tag. The rosary is my sword. My shield, God himself. Rise up, soldier of Christ. So if we take a look at that, the number one question I have is, why are Catholics born for combat? That's an unusual statement for me. I'm not sure why this person who posted this decided to point out that Catholics are born for combat. Why all this language of soldier, war, battle, combat? I'm not really sure what's going on with that. Uh, maybe because Christians have been persecuted so much over the centuries or something to that effect. I'm not really sure why. But this particular person who posted this, I guess, feels persecuted or under attack or something, and they feel like they have to attack back. This is an old trope used by Christians, especially Catholics, that they believe in the Bible and they believe in fictional characters like, you know, it could be a fictional character, Michael the Archangel. You know, we have no way of knowing if, number one, angels exist. And if there was an angel named Michael, that's oddly American, European, whatever. But it's uh, highly unlikely that anyone in heaven would be named Michael. Seems like something that a human would make up as far as a name goes. And this person who posted this, this meme, is also using language like scapular. He says, the scapular is my dog tag. Okay, so a dog tag would be how a, a soldier or a service member would be identified. And he uses his scapular. And the rosary is my sword, he says. So the rosary, if you don't know what a rosary is, it is a necklace with a whole bunch of beads to represent prayers that you're supposed to say, repetitive prayers, praying to God with the Our Father, and also the Hail Mary prayer. So you're praying through Mary to God, and then you end with a glory be to God prayer at the end, and then you say it over and over and over again. Saying the rosary takes a long time to get through all the prayers, and they're very, very repetitive. But then if you are saying the rosary over and over again, you're saying this set of prayers, and then you start over again, and you're saying it again, so that it becomes even more repetitive, which to me is a complete waste of time because there's never been any proof that prayer even works, no strong evidence that prayer is uh, even effective. And it, you get the results about as equal as if you were to have pure chance, coincidence. And the last part is my shield is God himself. So I'm not sure what that means. Using God as a shield to what? So he's going to be your strength. He's going to be your shield. And just because you believe that there's a, you know, supposedly a real character that is in spiritual form, because you believe it in your head that this is going to be your shield against what? Persecution, the devil, Satan. I'm not really sure what your shield is against. And then rise up soldier of Christ. So again, this reminds me of the Catholic Crusades and the Inquisition, Catholic Inquisition of the early dark ages where Catholics and Christians basically slaughtered masses of people because they didn't believe what they believed and 
they thought they were heretics or, you know, to all these evil beings, um, you know, all these negative terms that they used, heathen, pagan, heretic, which is godless, you know, and, and that's supposed to be, according to Catholics and Christians, godless means something evil. You know, there's, there's, that, that, there's that duality. If you're not with God, you're against God. If you are godless, you are automatically evil. You're automatically with the devil. You're automatically with Satan. I've seen that so many times. This uh, black and white thinking, rise up soldier of Christ. So you're supposed to be a soldier of Christ and not sure why they use the language of armies or soldiers. Or it's just something that we're familiar with as a human race. We're always at war about something. So I guess why not have it against religion versus non-religion? I don't know. It seems all very silly to me and unnecessary, violent, and they don't need to fight about anything. So that's it for this time. I'm going to pick apart another meme or a social media post that I found particularly interesting and try to make some logical sense of it and figure out why people who believe in Christianity or Islam or Catholicism or any other kind of organized religion, why they feel they need to post it out there for the world to see and be proud of their beliefs in something that they just don't have enough evidence for. And they're using very weak presuppositions and all kinds of things that don't make any sense. Don't use critical thinking at all. All right, until next time, thanks for joining me. Take care of yourself and take care of each other.